From the beginning, followers of Christ have broken bread together, gathered at tables fancy and simple, sharing wafers and full meals. In this era of pandemic and separation, we continue to gather together, sitting in our homes with our own supplies, but linked together by bits and bites and cables, linked together by the Spirit of God who unites us as one body. The meal we share is hosted by Christ, and through Christ, all the breads become one bread, all the cups become one cup, and we become one one body in Christ. So let's eat this bread. Eat this bread and never hunger. Drink this cup and never thirst. Christ invites us to the table where the lost becomes the first. Asking for a cup of water, Jesus touched forbidden ground. And the woman with a question told the world what she had found. Drink this bread and never hunger. Drink this cup and never thirst. Christ invites us to the table where the lost becomes the first. Walking down a desert highway, Jesus healed a man more blind. Soon the man became a witness to the truth we seek and find. Eat this bread and never hunger. Drink this cup and never thirst. Christ invites us to the table, where the lost becomes the first. Weeping for his friend at grace side, Jesus felt the pain of death. Yet he knew God's power to waken living water, living bread. Drink this cup and never hunger. And never thirst. Christ invites us to the table where the lost becomes the first. God be with you and, and also, also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to God. God. Let us give thanks to God. It, it is, is right, right to, to give, give God, God thanks and praise. God, you speak creation into being. We give thanks for all that you have made, for the water of life, for the wind that fills our lungs, for the food that fills our bellies, for the fellow creatures with whom we share this world. And we sing, we sing songs of praise and thanksgiving. Jesus taught, healed, and lived God's kingdom. He threatened those with power. He was arrested, tried, convicted, and executed, but the story was not over. You, God of power, you raised him from death, and he returned to breathe hope and life into his fearful followers, into us. We remember that on the night before he died, he took bread, and after giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his friends, saying, Take, 
eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup and poured it out. And he said, this cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, remember me. Holy Spirit, you blow through closed doors and into the places where we are. You meet us in our homes. Fill us with hope. You light the fire of transformation in our hearts. As we pause to eat and drink this morning, make us, while separate, unified in heart and hope. In this bread and this cup, may we meet the risen Christ. In this meal of faith and transformation, may we feel the fire and wind of the Holy Spirit and the kingdom of God. We pray in the name of the risen Christ. Amen. And so I invite you to take the bread and the juice that is in your bag and share it in your family. This communion comes from us here out to the community as Beth Ann plays. the prayer after communion. We have broken the bread 
We have poured the drink. We have shared in a meal together. Even while we remain physically separate, we have been united in our souls. May this meal that we share with one another change who we are. May it feed the fire in our bellies. May it strengthen us when the storms blow through. And now, as we continue to live as people who have had the Holy Spirit breathed onto and into us, may we love and serve God, our neighbors, and ourselves, so that God's kingdom is made real in our lives. Amen.